The Tornado spell is arguably the best spell in the game. Actually, you know what? It probably is. Hey guys, this is Lorraine right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And today, we're going to be going over the top 5 Tornado King Tower activations that you probably have never, ever seen. This video is definitely really, really interesting, and it has some really interesting mechanics that you can even use in your own game. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and hop right into this top 5 list. Alright, so in number 5, we have the Electro Wizard. That's right, you can actually activate the King's Tower with an Electro Wizard. This is a really, really not very well known fact. As you can see right here, if you can uh, place the Tornado right there, the Electro Wizard actually splits its second attack between the Arena Tower and the King's Tower. This can be insanely useful in some really, really tight circumstances or just at the beginning of the battle. Alright, so at number 4, we have the Executioner. The Executioner, it's a really, really interesting activation. I doubt you've ever seen it before. And as you can see, if you place the Ice Spirit just right and Tornado it to the corner of the Arena Tower, the Executioner's Axe can actually reach the King's Tower. That's right, it cuts right through that Arena Tower and actually activates the King's Tower. Definitely really, really interesting. And, um... I don't know, maybe you can use that in your game once in a lifetime, right? Alright, so number three, we have the Miner. Now, we all know that the Miner can be used to activate the King's Tower. Now, however, if the Miner is placed here, a lot of you guys won't be able to activate the King's Tower. However, you just have to adjust where you place the Tornado. As you can see, when I place the Tornado right there, it actually allowed the miner to activate the king's tower this can be so useful when you're playing those annoying minor trip decks and you can easily activate the king's tower right at the start of the game all right guys so in number two we have the balloon card that's right the balloon can also be used as a very effective way to activate the king's towers as you can see right here uh, if you do have a, a nice spirit in your deck and you time it just right you can actually use the balloon to activate the king's tower and the balloon doesn't even get a shot you, uh, basically dealing minimal damage to the King's Tower while still getting an activation and we're, we, have, we haven't even dealt any damage to the Arena Tower so this is definitely really really useful against those Balloon Cycle decks or those Lava Loon players as well. Alright so in number one we have the Royal Giant. Wait what? That's right, you heard it right, we've got the Royal Giant. You can actually use the Royal Giant to activate the King's Tower. This is so practical, especially when you're on ladder, you know, with those annoying level 13 Royal Giants. All you need is two Tornadoes, as well as an Ice Spirit to retarget the Royal Giant onto the King's Tower, giving you such a massive advantage over those annoying Royal Giant users. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video on the top Five least known Tornado King's Tower activations. Hope you guys enjoyed this list and can even use some of these Tornado placements in your own battles. But unfortunately guys, that is all the time for in today's video. If you enjoyed, please like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Legend Array and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.